CFTI, a term that has become a kind of buzzword in academic cardouts. And why not? Because most of the institutions are either making it compulsory or have already made it compulsory to have at least one degree from CFTI institutions. So what is this CFTI and why it is becoming so much important? And uh, what are the different institutes which are part of this CFTI tag? So in this particular video, we are going to look out for such related questions and uh, their respective answers. So let's just start. Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar. And today we are going to focus on the MOE funded technical institutions, means the Ministry of Education funded technical institutions, means the CFTI, the centrally funded technical institutions. So here we are talking uh, all these details with respect to Indian institutes. And so those who are the outside India viewers, those are not supposed to get very much about this CFTI item. So they should be familiar that Indian Ministry of Education uh, is funding directly, means so whole solely to some of the institutions. So those are supposed to be concerned as the centrally funded or the Ministry of Education funded technical institutions. Some of the institutions are not fully funded. Those are partially funded. For example, here PPP mode, you can see. So there might be some partial contribution from the central government that might be the case. But uh, in total, we are not going into the depth of that particular topic because that's a separate topic. We'll make a separate video on that. In this particular video, we are only going to talk about the MOE funded technical institution. So here uh, at the government uh, website, education.gov.in, uh, we can see that uh, the whole list is given over here. And they are saying that the technical institutions in country means in India can be broadly classified into three categories. One, uh, one is the central government funded technical institutes. Second is the state government funded institutions, And third is the self-financed institution. So the centrally funded institutions of technical and science educations are coming under this particular tag of CFTI. So those are listed down. So obviously the first category belongs to the world famous IITs. So here we have the 23 IITs, which are in number. Second is the IM, Indian Institute of Management, which are 20 in number. Then Indian Institute of Science, ISC, that is the only institute in Bangalore. Then Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, IASERs, uh, very well known for the basic science research and uh, seven in number. Then National Institute of Technology, another, the second uh, stepping stone of technology in the country after IIT. And these are 31 in number. Then we have triple IITs. Now triple IITs, here is the uh, big difference that uh, one type of CFTIs are MOE funded. Those are five. Those are supposed to be in particular, if I remember correctly, those are triple IIT Gwalior, triple IIT Allahabad, triple IIT Jabalpur. Triple IIT Kanchipuram and Triple IIT, uh, I don't, uh, I'm unable to recall the last Triple IIT name. So that's, uh, uh, these are four or five, means uh, five MOE funded institutions. And remaining are the 20 uh, PPP mode institutions, uh, which are the Triple IITs. Then we have the National Institute of Technical Teacher Training and Research, NITTTR, and these are four in number. Then School of Planning and uh, Architecture, SPA, three in number. Then Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology, NERIST, which is the only institute in Northeastern region. That is uh, the single one. Then we have the slide, Santalongaval Institute of Engineering and Technology, then National Institute of Industrial uh, Engineering, NITI, Mumbai, then National Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology, NIAMT, then Ghani Khan Chaudhary Institute of Engineering and Technology, GKCIET, and finally the Central Institute of Technology, Kogelcha. So in total, we have the 121 institutes, which are either fully or partially funded by Ministry of Education. So these are the different institutes, which are supposed to be considered under the tag of CFTI as per the definition, which is given over here at the uh, education.gov. So that's all for today's video, hopefully. You must have understood that which different type of institutes are coming under the tag of CFTI. They are the centrally funded institution uh, of technical and science education they are talking about because in particular, all the institutions are coming over here, but uh, some of the institutions are more uh, devoted towards the basic science research like IES. Yes. So that's all. If you don't like anything, please do comment below and let me know. We'll definitely try to incorporate your solutions. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.